again, daughter. I, I feel so weak. I, I don't know if I can. You must now. It is up to you now. Hurry, I must stay here and tend to Leah. Praise the gods, you've arrived just in time. Show me the soul stone. Come, Belial. The time for lies is past. Clever, but know this, Nephilim. Asmodan knows of the stone and the power it contains. Even if you defeat me, he will exterminate you and every last one of your misbegotten kind. I will not be undone! This world is mine! of the Lord of Hell! Quickly, Leah. Seal Belial's soul within the stone. It is ironic that one as twisted as Zoltan Cool played so great a role in our salvation. Cool was once a tireless enemy of hell. 
from his life, let us learn. The longer we fight evil, the more it can corrupt our hearts. Have any memories returned to you? Yes, faintly. My sisters and I were once mere servants in the house of a great Vigera lord. And he taught you to wield magic? No. I began reading his spell books out of curiosity and teaching magic to my sisters. Tricks, really. It was amusing for a time, but then I learned that he had begun to summon demons. I knew you'd have an easy time defeating Belial. I wouldn't say it was easy. Oh, you're way too modest. Now, Asmodan, that's going to be a fight. Hey, mister, I got some new things. You should take a look. You wonder what will happen in Chaldeum now? The people will decide their own fate. Ashira will be there to keep the peace. I only hope they rebuild wisely. I've seen the ruin that Leoric and Diablo brought in Tristram. I would not wish it upon Chaldeum. Today is a good day. You have liberated this land and brought low a Lord of Hell. Enjoy this moment, for tomorrow our war continues. There is no time for rest. Even now, Asmodan plots our destruction. The Lord of Sin is an uncanny tactician. He'll attack us where he believes we'll least expect it. And where defeat would break our will to resist. You are learning well, Leah. Now you must go to Chaldeum's great library and continue with your uncle's work. Speak. 
to me, child. Ariad. The demon's invasion will come from Ariad. Chaldeum is free of Belial and his lies. Yet Asmadan remains. With his armies staged in Ariat Crater, the ancient bulwark of Bastion's Keep is all that keeps him in check. I will not let that mighty fortress fall. The Keep's defenses cannot hold. Its soldiers are scattered, fleeing before Asmodan's onslaught, which rushes forth from Ariat Crater. Should the Keep fall, Asmodan will claim the Black Soul Stone. If he does, there will be no hope for this world. It will stand. I must rally the defenders. Light the signal fires, and show these soldiers that we are not yet defeated. Salvation has arrived. Go, you are needed below. Tyrael will not fail these people, I know it. A few thousand of your years ago on a distant battlefield, I stood over Asmodan, sword raised to deliver the death blow. You faltered. No. One of my brethren, Ardleon, called for help. And you saved him instead. Yes. And now Asmodan threatens all I hold dear once again. You stayed true to your beliefs. There was no other way. I see that now. I wish my angelic brethren felt the same. How is it different being mortal? I will die, of course. Granted, but... But that is the difference. When you are mortal, every moment is precious. Everything matters. It is exhilarating. Of the many things I find intriguing about humans, the greatest is their endless thirst for knowledge. Angels believe that everything there is to know is written in the scroll of fate. Therefore, curiosity is not a common angelic trait. Ironically, my suspicions have been confirmed. Angels do not, in fact, know everything. Seeing the world through mortal eyes has given me much to ponder. I knew Zoltan Kuhl was special from the moment I met him. He had a keen mind for the arcane. During the hunt for the three, he was the bearer of the soul stones and must have studied them intently. Though it is an aberration, the black soul stone is a testament to his genius. The black soul stone was created to be an improvement over the original three. They were crafted to contain single demons but Kool intended his to hold many. But the Black Soul Stone is flawed and cannot contain that many demons for long. We must capture Asmodan within it and shatter it, lest all these evils be reborn. Black soul stones getting hotter, straining against me. They're whispering to me from inside. The demons within seek escape. Only your power can keep it from splitting apart, my daughter. It's a heavy burden, but the fate of the world lies in your hands. Leah, the stone is fighting you. Are you okay? It's getting more difficult but it's nothing i can't handle 
the demons war and rage to escape their imprisonment. Their fury will only increase over time. Leah is very brave, but we'd best hurry before her strength fails. Asmodan's defeat is at hand. Only fools celebrate victory before the battle's begun. Along with Belial, Asmodan has ruled the ravening hordes of the Burning Hells for over three centuries. His cunning is beyond imagining. Well, beyond yours, perhaps. We've reached Bastion's Keep. But holding the Black Soul Stone together takes up all of my time now. Sometimes I think of the wounded soldiers and their families outside. But then my concentration fails, and the spells weaken. I must stay focused, and trust my friend to save the Keep and its people. What happened to your master, the Vigeri Lord? My sisters and I waited until all of his associates had gathered to summon a greater demon. We slew them all to the last man, but they uttered curses upon us with their dying breaths. My sisters and I, we fell. Our deaths seemed certain. When I woke, the dark figure of the Prophet was staring down at me. That is how I met him. Tell me about your brother. I want to know the truth. We used to be a team. I tip him off to some of the Thieves Guild's hits. He'd bring in the guards and play it off like it was a lucky catch. But one time he Someone's got to light those signal fires. Not me. May the gods who abandoned us come to you. Tell me about your brother. I want to know the truth. We used to be a team. I tip him off to some of the Thieves Guild's hits. He'd bring in the guards and play it off like it was a lucky catch. But one time he showed up too early. When you robbed the Merchant's Guild back? None other. Some of the guards became suspicious. They thought he was involved. And he's been rotting in a cell in Kingsport ever since. I... Well, I managed to escape. And you feel responsible? I don't know what I feel anymore. So you were a criminal before joining the Templar. What were your crimes? I cannot tell you. Then I will not pry. You misunderstand me. We are literally unable to recall our pasts. The Inquisitors stripped my sins and the memory of them from me, leaving me pure. Tell me, what does your order gain by taking your memory from you? Our initiation blinds us to our sinful pasts, so that we might clearly see the future and prepare for the final battle. Hmm. They must accomplish this with powerful magic. I was chained to a wall and beaten. By the third day, I was mad from pain and hunger. That is when the whipping began. I was told I relived all of my transgressions. Everything that brought me tainted joy. The whip took away that joy. Then the sin, leaving me pure. Friend, it sounds as if they left you empty, not pure. Don't you understand? The Templar Order is trying to protect humanity from extinction. What is my pain against that goal? So you believe in a cause, but have no memory of what brought you to it? You have the right of it, my friend. Belief without choice is not real, Cormac. The Crusaders quested for 200 years, knowing that we might be chasing a dream. But we made a choice to believe, and that is what keeps us constant. I've had similar thoughts, but does that mean everything I've done is for naught? Everything. I have considered what we discussed, and you are correct. I know little about my past, beyond what my order has told me. 
But what does it matter? Look what they have done for me. They've turned me into a living weapon, a light against darkness. Do you believe that? What do you want from me, Crusader? The memories were taken from me. It's done. No one can take your memories. They can only hide them. You may be right. I will find a way to take back my memories and exonerate my order. I have thought of a way to retrieve my lost memories, but it is dangerous. I must ask you to promise me something. Should I lapse into my old sins, whatever they may be, you must kill me as I killed John Dar. You have my word. What is your plan? I found a journal on John Dar's corpse, written in an ancient Templar cipher. I can translate it, but it will take some time. Perhaps studying his treachery will give me a clue into my past. This worries you. John Dar was once a man of faith, devoted to the Templar Order. What if he discovered something that made him betray himself? Ah, it matters not, for I must do this anyway. I have translated a strange passage from John Dar's journal. Long before he began serving Magda, he found a set of what he called key words hidden in a dusty Librum. He writes that when he read these words, memories from his past returned to torment him. It was at that point that he began to mistrust the Order, though he did not say why. I am prepared to look upon these words and risk my soul. But I want you to understand something. I know I may die at any time. When I do, it must be without a single doubt that I am serving the light. A belief unchallenged is only an idea. You are ready for this. Thank you, my friend. But please, remember your promise. I am prepared to read these key words. I will turn the page. How odd. They are simple words. Words that I have never seen together before. Oh, I can see everything. Water on a leaf. A burning hut. Light in my mother's eyes. Oh, make it stop. I, I, it's slowing now. I can... Oh. Oh, no! No! I was a young man. A promising soldier of Westmarch. The Order recruited me. They lied to me. Piled false sins upon me. Why do you think they did this? I do not know. But I am sure this is why John Dar turned from the Order. He was a fool. The Grand Maester cannot possibly know what his Inquisitors have done. When I return with the Tomes, he will punish them for their sins. Please, I must think on this. While examining John Dar's journal further, I found a torn page hidden within the binding. I believe that it is from one of the tomes I seek. He has written notes in the border as well. Perhaps by studying them, I will learn where the tome is. Good news then, no? It seems strange that John Dar would keep a page hidden. It is though it is the proof of a crime. I've already found holes in my order's honor. What if there are more? <laughs> 